Matt from New Gamer Nation. I'm with Simon. We're at the uh, Devolver Digital booth. Simon from Roll7. You just had a lot of success with uh, Ali Ali, and now you've got a new game coming out over here. What do you got? Yeah, mate, we're putting out Not a Hero. So it's like a 2D shooter game. And uh, I guess the best way to explain it is Gears of War meets elevator action. Well, it's not just a 2D shooter, because it's got some unique game mechanics that a lot of people just don't have. you got a cover system, but it's like layer-based, right? Yeah, I guess like you, you can basically slide yourself into cover. Your character goes into basically sort of like, I put it right, kind of goes into a shadow. Mm -hmm. And then you can sort of slide out of cover and shoot people in their face. There's a lot of shooting in the face. There is a lot a of shooting. A lot of shooting. Yeah. In fact, I believe you described it as Ali Ali, but with guns. Yeah, I guess the best way to look at No Hero is, is exactly that. But like instead of having a skateboard, you've got an M16. Or instead of having tricks, you've got, got an M16. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, uh, there were a bunch of characters. Uh, there was a big purple bunny, which is very different. Yeah, Bunny Lord. The Bunny Lord, yeah. yeah. And he's running for office. Bunny Lord is running for everything and anything. But he wants to be either mayor, prime minister, prime minister, no, yeah, hang on, king of Britain, or global megalord, or something. Something, something. Yeah. And now, playable characters, they each have their own little special power. Why don't you talk a little bit about each of those characters? Because they're very unique. Yeah, so you've got Steve, right? He's a bit of a cockney geezer. It's gonna go and shoot people in the cunt. Go and shoot people in the cunt. And then you got Samantha, who's from Wales, and she's a valley girl. She's a valley girl. Oh, and she can run and reload and shoot and stuff. Okay. And you got Ronald Justice, who's a big booming Brian Blessed fellow. Is that the guy with the shotgun? He's got a hammer. Oh, a hammer. Yes. Uh, and you got Stanley Blood. Uh, Stanley's got like an Uzi fam, and he's gonna come blast you in your guts, yeah. <laughs> Stanley's like a he's like a waste man from road, do you get me? I do. Awesome. Kind of. I love the accent, I really do. It's unique. And all the characters are unique. And the game is unique. And we're having a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. So, when can we expect this game to be out? Well, we're aiming for May 7, and I think we'll hit that date, uh, probably. Yeah, it's got a lot of polish on it. I mean, I, I think you said it was like a year late, but it, it looks good. It's one of those things where you don't want to put it out early because you want to put all that polish on it. Yeah, I think what we've done is we've left two monkeys in charge um, and, and given them a lot of tools to make a computer game, and, and they've done a fantastic job. Yeah, you say two monkeys, but like, literally, this is being developed by only two people. This has been developed by a very talented person, Jonathan Ribbons and Jake Hollands, and Jake and John have really done a fantastic job. Yeah, I, they really have. They really so if you're definitely if you're here at PAX, check it out. And if they're not here, look for it in May. Is there um, any kind of like early access or any, anything we can try to get them no, to their heads early? We wouldn't want anyone to understand the game before it came out. There's there's a lot to understand because uh, back to that purple bunny. Uh, I think you said everything is procedurally generated about what he says, or it's random. There is a random element to what we do. Yes. Because I definitely saw uh, some things about a piss flap. And the a guy dressed up as a pigeon. There is the, the word piss flaps is mentioned on occasion. On occasion. And uh, the whole story kind of takes place in Vodkaville, which is a place that I would love to live. Vodkaville is one of the locations, one but let's locations. not forget or forsake Brethren Park okay. or Sushi Central. Sushi Ooh. Yes. Ooh, that sounds like a tasty place. It's a very racist game. It, you know what? you got to have fun with it. And if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. So, Simon, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate Matthew. it. Matthew. Enjoy, all right? Thanks. Splendid.